This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're taking a look at the Bellroy Venture Hip Pack, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. If you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe so we can continue making content like this to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. So this is very similar to the Bellroy Venture pouch, which I recently reviewed. Uh, if it's not up on our page already, it probably should be shortly, so look out for that. But very similar and a lot of similar materials here. So the exterior is a recycled nylon, and there is also recycled polyester on this thing. You can kind of see the duality of the materials here. You've got a nice little like ripstop texture there, and then a little bit more durable feeling material on the front part and also on the bottom. So I really like the look of these. It's also, it feels a little bit rough, not in a bad way, but just feels more rugged and durable. Like this thing can kind of take a beating and just keep on going. And as you can see, like there really isn't anything negative to report about the materials. And I know that's something Bellroy really prides themselves on. And that stays true with this, even though it's not using leather or anything else like they're kind of known for. So you can see you've got the Bellroy logo there and it is a different color than the main pack material, but I think it blends in nicely and it's not super noticeable, especially from a distance. But moving on to the zippers, we've got YKK AquaGuard zippers here, just one zipper per track, which is probably good for the size coming in at 1.5 liters here. Um, but they are a little bit slow at times because of that AquaGuard, uh, especially like when you're doing like one-handed like that and you're holding it, but it keeps the you know water out. Like this material is very good at keeping water at bay, very water resistant. And then we've also got these AquaGuard zipper tracks to make sure that no water sneaking in through there too. If it were to have two zipper heads per track, there's normally a small hole between the two zipper heads. And because there's just one, we don't really have that. There is a tiny one, you know, at the end there, but if you really pull it down, it kind of solves that issue. So the buckle here is from Wujin Magnetic Buckle. We'll get more into that when we talk about the harness system and wearing it, but very easy to manipulate. It's not too small. Sometimes I have a problem with these being too small and this one isn't. So that is very nice to report. But overall, there really isn't a ton going on with the outside of this thing. So depending how you pack it, sometimes it will stand up on its own. It's so like right now it kind of is, but it's like angled. It's kind of hard to show you, but like if you barely kind of tap it, it falls over. And if you have it more packed out, it's more likely to stand on its own. But for the most part in my, at least when I was using this thing, it really didn't stand up on its own. And I like to take things like this, like this with me to like a coffee shop or something like that. So I can leave it like this and have my goodies in there and work on my computer or something. And that's just a little bit disappointing, but as you can see right now, you can get it to, it's just not always going to stand up. So moving on to the harness system here, obviously we just have this one strap. It's not removable or anything like that. And we also don't have any padding or aeration to work with, but coming in at one and a half liters, you're not really expecting it to. And even when you have this thing completely loaded out, it's, it remains pretty comfortable. It's, it's pretty, I, don't, I mean, it's not wide. You can see it compared to my hands. It's not super wide, but it's, it's wide enough for the, what it's tasked with, if that makes sense. So it's got a pretty good spread, especially if you're wearing it in hip pack mode as you're meant to, but you can also wear this thing in crossbody mode and it's comfortable pretty much no matter how you wear it. Uh, we've got a strap keeper here, which makes things very easy to keep them organized. Even when you have this thing really tightened up, like you have to go a long way before you run out of strap keeper room and keep pulling that even a little bit more. And we've still got room and the strap is out of the way. So we're just finally getting to where there's a little bit of space and that's very uh, small. So you might, if you're um, gonna wear this in a unique way or you have a very small frame, you might need to like double up or something like that. But I really do dig this strap keeper. A little bit too long talking about the strap keeper there. But this is very similar, as I said, to the Venture hip or Venture pouch. Whereas that one has little like loops that you can attach your own strap. This is integrated much better. And as you, as I said, it's not removable. So very comfortable and just it kind of attaches at a diagonal there, which makes it very comfortable. And I'm about to put it on so I can speak to that more. So I've got this in hip pack mode right now. That's how you're supposed to wear it. This is a hip pack, but it's very comfortable, I think. And I typically don't like wearing my hip pack super tight. So I don't have this super tight right now, but it doesn't go anywhere and it remains comfortable and easy to access. And you can switch it around to your backside pretty easily. And still it's not really going anywhere. If you get super active and you're wearing it a little bit looser, it might bounce around a little bit, but overall very comfortable in this um, 
I guess, in this way of wearing it, and it's also easy to access your gear. So now I've got it in crossbody mode, and I don't know whether you're even really supposed to do it like this. They don't have any photos on their product page of it like this, but I know lots of folks like to wear their bags like this, and I found this to be very comfortable as well, especially if you're doing something more active. It's really not going anywhere because it can't go anywhere, whereas when you have it in hip pack mode, it could, in theory, kind of slip down. It's also very comfortable to wear it on your back. And because of the um, placement of the buckle, and the buckle's never really rubbing on you wrong, and just remains comfortable. Maybe not as comfortable as a dedicated crossbody, but it works. So there's only one secondary compartment to work with here, and what we find inside is almost identical to what we saw inside the Bellroy Venture pouch, but there is a little bit added on. As you saw there, when I just was opening that, I get my zipper got a little bit stuck, and that's because I kind of have my wallet shoved in there. So my Trums Surf Shorts fits in there, but just barely. If you have a larger wallet or you have one that's more like sturdy, like you have a minimalist wallet that's made of aluminum or something like that, it might not be able to close around that. So just something to keep in mind. But as you can see, we have this little divider here, just kind of separates our gear a little bit. On this side, I've just got a uh, Fuji X-T3 battery as I accidentally throw it. I like to keep an extra battery, like I can wear this on my hip and then have my camera on my shoulder. And then I have an extra battery just in case the battery dies. But now you can see there's nothing else in here except we do have this little key leash. So this is something that isn't on the pouch, which makes sense. You don't necessarily need a key leash on a pouch, but it's, it's long enough. Like it's normally with a backpack, if something was this long, it wouldn't be long enough to like use your keys. But because this is a hip pack or if you're wearing it as a crossbody, you can kind of lean towards the door and still open the door without taking the keys off. If you do need to take the keys off, it's very easy to manipulate as you can see, but the keys don't pop off when you don't want them to. We've got a similar material, like paracord like material as the zipper pull here. You can see that those are the same material. And we also have a little bit of heat shrunk plastic on this part here, just like we do on the end of that uh, zipper pull as well. But overall, just a very small little pocket. I like that there's a little divider in there. You can't shove a longer item because Obviously, like there's the divider, so it's not going to fit, but it's some nice segmentation for a small sling to put small things into. If you want to, you know, put a bunch of big stuff inside here, it's not going to work, obviously, but we have the main compartment, which we're about to go over. So now moving into that main compartment, we'll pop that open. As you can see, there's actually quite a bit going on in here, but it's also very minimal. So let's talk about it. We've got this main compartment area here, which I actually have empty right now, and I found myself leaving empty for the most part when I was using this sling. So the way I used this, I should say hip pack, not sling, is that I took things that would typically be in my pocket or hanging off my body and threw them inside here. So like I had my wallet, which would normally be in my pocket. I had that uh, extra camera battery, which I'd normally slide into my back pocket. And I put those in the secondary compartment here. Then moving into the main compartment, I have my phone back here and I have my sunglasses right here. So it's just making my body feel less weighed down and less boggled and having it all contained into one place and then wearing that. But enough about how I use a sling, let's get into the actual organization inside here. So I got my phone's iPhone 11 with a case in this back little area here. So this divider has an, a pretty good amount of padding, enough for at least me to put my phone inside there and I can even put the glass on this side and not really worry about it. And then on this back side, we have a little bit of padding here too. So. It's a good spot for a phone. You could also put your passport there. Pretty much any flat item that's about passport or phone shaped is gonna work nicely there. But if it's more like oblong shaped item, you're gonna feel it on the back panel because there really isn't a ton of padding there other than like just to protect your phone a little bit if you were to drop this thing. So no you know, big oblong shaped items, but you can stow pretty much anything flat as long as it's roughly that size. On this opposite side here, we have this little meshy pocket and that's perfect for sunglasses. As you can see, those sunglasses are really taking up the whole compartment there. Just got a pair of these are gooder sunglasses inside there right now. If you have a pair of larger sunglasses, like if you have a larger head and you've got a pair of bigger sunglasses for that purpose, they might not fit width wise. So that's something that's I think important to know before you purchase this if you do have larger sunglasses. And this was also an addition that was not on the Bellroy Venture pouch, which I kind of didn't understand why it didn't translate over but it's nice to see it here. It's very useful, especially this time of year in the spring when you know, it's getting sunny and we're spending more time outside. You can always have your sunglasses and you don't have to wear them. Sorry, I just touched the mic there. You don't have to wear them like that and worry about them falling or just a lot easier to keep track of them when you can throw them in your sling instead of somewhere on your body where they could fall off. If you do want to stow more gear inside here, we do have this pretty amply sized main area, lots of real estate to work with there. 
No more organization other than this divider and this little mesh pocket for your sunglasses. You could also throw like a little cable in here or something if you wanted to, if you didn't want to bring any sunglasses, but pretty good size for a one and a half liter sling. I know that sounds silly to say, but sometimes with these smaller slings, there really isn't any space other than like the organization that's given to you. So this is a nice mixture of organization and also free space for you to just throw some junk in there. Like you could put your AirPods in there. If your wallet's too big for the secondary compartment, you could throw that in there. Cables, chargers, you name it. You could probably fit it inside here as long as it's not an oversized or bulky item. But if you watch enough pack hacker videos, you've probably already started to make your items smaller and more packable. But overall, very happy with this thing. Something that we noted in the review of the pouch was that it didn't feel big enough to stow the things we need, but that's because we were using it as a pouch. As this is a sling, hip pack, crossbody, bum bag, whatever you want to call it, it can really fit your daily essentials and not much more. And that's what you want from it because it's just on your body and maybe taking a few things out of your pockets or making more room in your pockets for other things so you can bring a little bit more than if you didn't have this sling. And the materials have lasted. It seems like Bellroy is going in a more rugged direction with this line. And that's really awesome for someone who likes to get down and dirty sometimes. So overall, very happy with this thing. But if you like to bring a bunch of stuff, it might not fit inside here. So there you have it, the Bellroy Venture Hit Pack. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.